Leagues 3 hype is back. Today they just launched the official Leagues 3 trailer, giving us the most information we've ever got about this new league. We're now under two weeks until the launch day on January 19th. And in today's video, we're going to go through bits and pieces of this trailer and cover some of the biggest things they just revealed about Leagues 3. And here's the first place we're going to stop because we actually get a sneak peek of what the new fragment menu is going to look like, as well as a sneak peek at a few of the newer fragments. We have all three combat styles for the unholy fragment pieces, being the warrior, ranger, and wizard. And as you can tell on the sidebar over here, we even have the three different levels. In level 1, melee attack accuracy increases 5% with 0 prayer left, level 2 is 15%, and level 3 is 30%. And we can assume this is the exact same fragment as each of the ranger and wizards, just for the different combat styles. I don't know how exactly it's going to work, but as you can see it says 1 out of 12,000. Maybe it's damage done, maybe it's something else, but I'm assuming that is the experience you need, and these are the hash marks right here for level 2 and level 3. Once you pass this, you would have a base level of level 2 for the Unholy Warrior, meaning you would move on to the 15% bonus, and then once you fully unlocked its capabilities, you'd go all the way up to level 3, getting the full 30% when you have zero prayer. And as you quickly saw there, before they shoot to the next screen almost immediately, let's see if I can go ahead and stop it without having to slow it down. Right there, the set effect for the Unholy Warrior is Last Recall. Meaning if we have enough of these fragments with that set effect, we can then unlock the last recall ability. I know one of which is a fan favorite that they did confirm was going to be in this league, and they kind of quickly snuck it onto this slide before it shoots over to the next frame. And if we jump a little further in the video, we actually get another sneak peek at even more fragments. These ones include the Smooth Criminal, the Chef's Catch, and the Slash and Burn. Not to mention you can even see the Bottomless Quiver at the top, which has to do with ammo and range weapon charges. And as they scroll down, you can actually tell there's one for mage and melee for this category as well. I'm assuming it's something similar to how like the abyssal accumulator worked prior, where if you did use a magic spell or if you shot arrows, there was a percentage that you saved them or something along those lines. And I feel like the other three they revealed as well are pretty self-explanatory. The smooth criminal, you're gonna have an improved pickpocket chance. We don't know exactly what that percentage is yet, but it is pretty self-explanatory for what it's going to do as a base effect. The chef's catch, they actually do click on right before they switch slides. There's a 20% chance that any fish you caught are cooked, graining cooking, and I'm assuming fishing XP at the same time. And then I'm sure slash and burn is something very similar and might even have the exact percentage chance that the chef's catch does. Apart from that though, one other thing I did want to note is there's actually seven fragment slots. One thing that I was under the impression of originally is I thought they told us there was six. So unless that's something they kind of snuck in and did recently, that or I just completely overlooked something they released prior because originally I thought there was only going to be six fragment spots. Whereas on this interface you can clearly see there's seven. Quickly right there they gave us a sneak peek at a few tasks that are going to be in Shattered Relics, being something like equip a dragon defender or even equip a fire cape. And they showed how in this league, gaining league points is going to unlock you additional fragment slots. I did want to notice before we move on though that at the very top you can see equipping a fire cape gives you 125 points. Something very subtle, but I did catch on. We've actually never had a 125 point task. So I'm very curious to see how they break down the points between task in this league in comparison to prior ones. Unlike in previous leagues, this time you have access to all of Gillenor. But there's a twist. Nearly everything is locked off. In the tutorial, you'll unlock the defense, thieving, and fishing skills, along with one combat skill of your choice. And there we have it. We actually didn't know if they were going to release this ahead of time, or if it was just going to be something we got on release. But they did confirm the three skills we're going to be starting with. And that is defense, thieving, and fishing. And if you've seen any of the previous league's teasers, you'll notice they also were giving us an additional choice at the start, which they just confirmed in that clip is going to be a combat skill of our choice. So not only are you getting the initial three of defense, thieving, and fishing, but then on top of that you have the choice of picking an additional combat skill like range, magic, I'm guessing hit points, maybe prayer, 
but also strength and attack. But this league will also have a base XP multiplier of 5 times, will have unlimited run, and you can bank your clue scrolls in general, not just using a specific fragment or base effect this time around. It is going to be a basic ability. And if you just cut on, there's also going to be waystones, which are basically lodge stones from RS3, which are located in all of the major hub cities. They actually have a list of them right here in this part. Lumbridge, Valley, Varrock, Alcarid, Catherby, Ardy, Brimhaven, Relica, the Farox Enclave, Canifus, Prif, and Corind. All of which have unlimited teleports at these waystones that once you unlock it the first time, you'll have access to it for the remainder of the league. Definitely a new feature you're going to want to take advantage of. And anytime you're near one of these hub cities, it might be worth just taking the extra few minutes to go out of your way to unlock a permanent teleport to that area. And now for one of the newest features we have in this new league, and that is the Sage's Renown. And this is going to be the unlock system for content within Leagues 3. And with every task completion you have within Shattered Relics, you'll also gain Sage's Renown alongside your league points. And it isn't confirmed, but if I had to guess, Sage's Renown would also scale with the difficulty of your task completion. Meaning if you completed a beginner task, you would get so many. But in comparison, if you completed a master or grandmaster, if those tasks even do exist in this league, you would gain more Sage's Renown per task. Technically, that is just speculation, but ultimately it would make sense. We also get a little sneak peek if these numbers are exactly how the system set up that it would require 10 for basic bosses like Bryophyta, Obor, Giant Mole, or the Grotesque Guardians. And you can even see that Temporos down there either requires 20 or 30. Sage's Renown is also the system you're going to be using to unlock additional skills. And it's not included on here in a little sidebar, but they do confirm it in the video. That auto-completing quest is also going to be part of this system. Definitely something I'm going to take advantage of because I absolutely hate questing. And to round out towards the end of the trailer video, we got a look at exactly how one of these set effects is going to work. This set effects is Knife's Edge, and for every hit point missing, you deal additional damage in all combat styles. With two of these fragments equipped, you would do 0.3% damage per hit point, and if you had four fragments from this set effect, you would deal 0.6% damage per hit point. Nothing too crazy, but this alone highlights the impact that fragment slash set effect synergy is going to have on this league. Getting as many fragments as you can and seeing the best way you can piece them together is really going to be the most fun aspect of this new league. Leagues 3 is once again just around the corner and we're finally getting some more information and I couldn't be more hype. After a ton of additional waiting, I'm definitely ready to dive right in. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like on it. It massively helps me out. And if you want to see more Leagues 3 content, hit that subscribe button down below. We're going to have another video coming in just a couple days. Throughout this week, they're going to be doing some more fragment reveals. And we're definitely going to be making a video about all of those. I'll also leave a link down in the description below to the trailer. I highly recommend you watch the entire thing yourself. If this is the first time you've watched any videos on Leagues, I did skip some of the basic information that we did already know in that trailer, so I definitely recommend you go check it out yourself. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I can't wait to catch you in the next one.